Welcome to the Geospatial Intelligence Podcast. My name is Aybar Sostuna and I'm the founder and CEO of Geospatial Intelligence Institute and Master of Science in Geospatial Intelligence candidate at Johns Hopkins University. Geospatial Intelligence an Emerging Field We'll be talking everything about it. Let's begin. GIS in Forensic and Criminal Investigation Forensics is a science used to solve various crimes and criminal activities. Geographic information science, encompassing geospatial information and technology, has undergone advancements that have equipped it to be used in criminology and forensic fields. Law enforcement agencies and forensic investigators have embraced geospatial science and technologies for collecting, storing, manipulating, analyzing, and displaying spatial data. Doing so has provided them assistance in generating new information, processes, and models for investigation and solving crime. They have also helped forensic officers in policymaking as well as decision-making. Geospatial technologies have variations in their applications, acceptability, relevance, and procedural legality, which leads to their roles, assessments in law enforcement, rules of evidence, privacy protection, and constitutional liberties. Geospatial services and e-government. Geographic information is the basis of special orientation and vectors of e-government information resources. When applied, it contributes to the integration of government information alongside the promotion of public services, which tends to provide it with the concrete foundation to motivate cross-sector e-government and collaborative services of numerous government departments and their information systems. It has become essential in e-government to utilize GIS as the application subject, as it will help them realize cross-sector application integration, retrieve data transformations with accuracy, and improve standardization and information transportation. It can also ease election procedures, making it possible to conduct elections and count the generated votes in their respective areas much more effectively and without consuming an extensive period of time. It also leaves little to no room for inaccuracy when e-government sector's procedures are equipped with GIS application. If you would like to have a variety of sources, feel free to follow geospecialintelligenceinstitute.org That is geospecialintelligenceinstitute.org My name is Aybars Östuna and this is the Geospatial Intelligence Podcast.